Hello friends, let's balance one more net ionic equation. This equation is for the reaction between permanganate ion and sulfur dioxide to form manganese ion and hydrogen sulfate ion or bisulfate ion. This reaction takes place in acidic medium. Let's balance this equation by oxidation number method. I have noted down the oxidation numbers of all the atoms present in the equation. Uh, let's work out the first reactant in the manganese and permanganate ion alone. I will work out and the same principle is applied to work out the oxidation numbers of all the atoms. Let's assume the oxidation number of manganese as X. And in permanganate ion, four oxygen atoms are there. So four times minus two. Each oxidation num oxygen has the oxidation number minus two. And this is a polyatomic ion. Therefore, the sum of the oxidation numbers is equal to its charge. So if you simplify, X minus eight is equal to minus one. X is equal to 8 minus 1 that is equal to plus 7 that was written here here I have written already plus 7 the same manner we can calculate the oxidation number of sulfur in sulfur dioxide and sulfur in bisulfate ion or hydrogen sulfate ion so that I have already worked out and it was mentioned against that atom every atom the oxidation numbers were mentioned here if we analyze the oxidation numbers of manganese and sulfur there is a change in oxidation numbers in manganese and sulfur manganese <coughs> the oxidation number changes from plus 7 to plus 2. So in manganese there is a decrease in oxidation number takes place. That is manganese undergoes reduction. And the decrease in oxidation number is from plus 7 to minus uh, plus 2. So how much decrease? Plus 5 decrease. Similarly the next one what's that? Sulfur. The oxidation number of sulfur changes from plus 4 to, what's that, plus 6. So, sulfur oxidation number increases, that is oxidation. It, the increase in oxidation number takes place. How many numbers uh, increase? That is plus 2. The increase in oxidation number is plus 2. The de decrease in oxidation number is plus 5. Now using this 5, we need to multiply sulfur on the right hand side. Using this 2, we need to multiply manganese on the right hand side. That we can work out at the next page. So 2 with manganese. Manganese needs to be multiplied by two times. Manganese two times. And sulfur, sulfur five times. The right hand side we have multiplied. Now we need to balance the left hand side. Manganese we need to mul we have multiplied by two times therefore this man permanganate also to be multiplied by two times. Right hand side sulfur we have multiplied by five times therefore the left hand side sulfur dioxide also needs to be multiplied by five times. Now we can check the charges. The left hand side in permanganate ion, two minus, two negative charges are there. Two negative charges, that is minus two. 
Sulfur dioxide is a neutral compound, therefore no charge. The right hand side, manganese ion, 2 times 2 plus, that is plus 4. The next one is, bisulfate ion, bisulfate ion, that is, bisulfate ion, 5 minus 5 minus that is minus 5 so if you simplify the right hand side the result is minus 1 the result is right hand side the result is minus 1 but the left hand side the charge is minus 2 so the charges are not equal and here in the question it is mentioned that the reaction takes place in acidic medium. The reaction takes place in acidic medium. Therefore, we need to add H plus ions on the appropriate side as in order to make the charges equal. So, what we can do that is this minus 2 needs to be added with 1 plus 1. Here we can add 1 plus 1. So if you are adding 1 plus 1 to this minus 2, it will become minus 1. So both the side the charges will be equal. So plus 1 needs to be added to the right and left hand side. That is 1 H plus ion needs to be added to the left hand side. So that I am adding here. That is at the top I am adding at the right and left hand side plus H plus plus H plus I have written. Now when we check the right hand side hydrogen atoms are five times that is in bisulfate ion or hydrogen sulfate ion the coefficient five is there. Therefore, 5 times hydrogen ion, hydrogen is present on the right hand side. But the left hand side, only one time. So, here 4, mole, uh, four hydrogen atoms are required. Therefore, what we can do that, 4 moles of water can be added. 4 moles of water can be added on the left hand side. Sorry, uh, 2 moles of water. 2 moles of water needs to be added. 2 moles of water. Then 2 moles of water needs to be added. So when we are multiplying by 2 times this water molecule, 2 times 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, then both the sides, the hydrogen atoms will be equal. Now, if we check other atoms, 2 manganese, both the sides, 2 5 sulfur, both the sides, hydrogen, 5 times both the side, oxygen, right hand side, 5 times 4, 20, left hand side, 5 times 2, 10, and in manganese, 2 times 4, 8, so 10 plus 8, 18, then in water, 2, so 18 plus 2, 20, so oxygen also 20 on both the sides. So all the atoms are equal on both the sides of the equation and the charge is also equal on both the sides. Therefore, this is a balanced equation. So the balanced equation is 2 moles of water plus 1 mole of hydrogen ion plus 2 moles of permanganate ions and 5 moles of sulfur dioxide gives 2 moles of manganese ions and 5 moles of bisulfate ions or hydrogen sulfate ions. Please do subscribe, comment and share. Thank you so much for your support.